tuned in I'll be taking over Marshall's upper body and core today so it will be a weights break class so if you are just joining grab yourself some weights a mat and we'll get started I think I'm a little bit early so hey I think Rob yep Rob's just joined hi Rob so I'll be taking over Marshall's class today so if you haven't already grab yourself some weights and a mat we'll be doing upper body and core today when we get started shortly Yes, please. Hey. Hi. Who else is joining? Where's everyone? Just join in. I think everyone might still be in bed. Cool. Give me a wave, guys, once you have joined. I know you're probably thinking for those who just joined, where's Marshall? Is that Peter? Hi, Peter. I'm not sure that. So, again, grab your weights, grab a mat. We're going to get started soon. Upper body and core. And we're going to go straight in. We've still got a while to go. You still got a couple of minutes to get yourself set up, so find a space and we'll get started shortly. Hey Pia. If you can't hear me with the music in the background, please do let me know. I can always just adjust it and turn it down, but as of now, I'm going to just let some music play in the back and then yeah, we'll go straight in. I've got a nice little plan for us today, so uh, this should be fun. As it's Easter weekend, so I'm prepping everyone for their Easter eggs. All that chocolate you can be consuming, you know? <laughs> Who else is doing that? Give me a thumbs up or a wave, guys, once you join, just to let me know you are here and ready to go. I'm just gonna set my mat up also. I'm like, I'm like going sideways or trying to go like it's live and face it live at the same time. So I'm like, right, which one should I go to? <laughs> For those who just tuned in to the Facebook Live, hey guys, I'll be covering Marshall's class today. So upper body and core, grab yourself a mat and wait if you haven't done so already. Hey Terry, how's it going? I'm just literally going to set my weights up, guys. Terry said he's ready to go for another workout. Oh, perfect. Who else is ready? If anyone done my class yesterday? Honestly, those jump squats, yeah. lateral raises yesterday done my classes. Oh, my shoulders, killing me. Legs, and then I continue to train afterwards. I'm nuts. Clearly you've got nothing else better to do, right? <laughs> Who else has just joined? Keep it coming, guys. Join in. Set yourselves up. That way we can get started bang on 12.15 today as I've got two lives working perfectly. So we can get stuck in 
straight away. So we're going to start with our standard warm up, some stretches, some mobility exercises and then we're going to get stuck straight in. Again, I'm going to break down all the exercises that we're going to be doing anyway, so um, yeah. So if you've got dumbbells, a set of dumbbells, that'd be perfect. If you've got a set of kettlebells as well, that's fine as well. I always give the alternative for dumbbells and kettlebells as well. So even if you've only got one dumbbell or one kettlebell, I will also still give you an alternative to do as well. So you can still get involved with that same exercise that everyone will be doing. Let's see. Who's that? William, Shane. Hey guys, everyone wearing today? Everyone is coming late today, everyone's like soft feet, I'm gonna come in like three minutes too. <laughs> Jack, hey Shane, how's it going? I think everyone should be able to see me clearly. I think I'm kind of got myself in the middle. again, set yourself up. <laughs> Show you said he's still sore from yesterday, so have I. My shoulders are dead. My legs, I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my lord. So this should be fun, now we've got more upper body. But it's all right, we can leave the legs alone today. And we're gonna kill the stomach. This should be fun. I told you, I'm prepping everyone for Easter weekend. Try 
trainers, please do. If you can go even further, try and reach down to the floor. Just let the body fully relax. And hold that stretch. Four, three, two, one. Okay, from this position, what we should do is lock your fingers behind the back of your knees and pull on your lower back. Okay, so you arch your lower back up. That's it. Can I adjust this just a little bit? Good. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so I'm going to quickly demo this one. So everyone should kind of know this stretch if you come to the class. Take both hands down to the floor. Take one leg back, then take the other leg back. Take your right leg around your right arm, straighten that right arm all the way up, and then drop the left elbow, sorry, the right elbow, inside the inside of the right ankle. Okay, so I will demo from this side. Plank position, right arm, sorry, right leg goes round, take the right arm up, drop that elbow down, and then repeat. So when you do this stretch, you always want to make sure that you're looking towards the ceiling and then coming back down. That's what. So stretch all the way up and down. Okay, now 15 seconds. Try to go as low as you can, but take your time to try and elongate that stretch as much as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, take that leg back, other leg goes round, and repeat. Yeah, so again, stretch it up, drop that elbow all the way down. Reach up. Good. Keep going. And take it down. Perfect. Let's go. 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one, okay, and from this position, I'm just gonna bring myself back a little bit more so the guys on the Facebook can see me. Okay, so both hands come down again, drop the body down, and you just gonna stretch out that lower back. So head up towards the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Okay, from here, drop those hips back. So I'm just gonna demo from the side. Drop your hips back, so it comes right the way down. Extend both hands out in front, and what we need to do is walk your fingers in front as much as you can, head down, and we're just going to stretch out that upper body. Okay, so again, hips come down, train those arms all the way out, and walk your fingers forward onto a mat or on the floor as much as you can. Keep your head facing down just to relax your neck. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, take your left hand on top of your right hand. Okay, you're going to twist the body around. To the right hand side. So again, it's your one hand top the other and then it should just twist the body round. That's it. Good. Four, three, two, one, and repeat on the other side. Take that left hand down, right hand goes on top. Again, twist the body to the left hand side. So really get a full twist as you come round. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Take yourself back into that plank position. Walk your hands up. So keep your feet in line with your shoulders. Take both hands on top of your trainers or your socks, whichever you have on. Drop the hips down. So I'll demo from the side. Drop the hips down, yeah? Try and keep your head facing forward. And then what we do is extend those legs up and then drop the hips back down. So we're stretching out those hamstrings. That's it. As you come down, try and relax your lower back and your shoulders as much as you can as you come down. Try not to stay too tense, yeah? Try and relax as much as you can. Stretch it up, we're gonna go for another 10 seconds, just do as many as you can, drop those hips down, stretch it up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, from here, you're gonna take both legs wide. Okay, so from here, I'll come back just a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna reach for the inside of the trainer, switch it from side to side, yeah? We're gonna be here for 20 seconds, guys. Let's go, side to side. So take the legs nice and wide apart, Really take your time, don't rush this one because you don't want to get too, too dizzy as well, yeah? So just really take your time going from side to side. Who's just joined? Hey guys, who's just joined? Right, 10 seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring yourself back up. What we should do is just take both arms out to the side, okay? That's it, and in front, and we're gonna stretch it up. Good, and back down. Okay, and repeat. Take those arms out to the side, really stretch your back. Take it right the way up. And then back down. Good, okay, and again to the side. Really open up that chest. Now take it back up, stretch it right the way back. And release, good. So we're gonna go again for number two. Take it out to the side. Stretch it right the way above the head. And release, good. One more, just warming up that upper body. Take it up. And release. 
release. Good. Okay. Roll both shoulders forward. Three, two, one. Take it back. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay. Right. We're just going to stretch out those obliques and sides. Take both hands up again above the head. And we're just going to take it over and relax. Good. Hold that stretch. Sorry. Four, three, two, one, and change. Take it over. Hold that stretch. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so again, we're just going to roll those arms forward. That's it. Big circles. So think of it like a, a butterfly, if anyone has done swimming before. Okay, we twist the arms forward, palms of the hands face down, and then repeat. Four, three, two, one. And one. Now repeat, going back, twist, and then back. That's it. I'm like you're pushing the wall back. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, right, we're going to start with a quick pulse raise now that we're going to go into our main workout. So we're just going to get warmed up nice and quick. 20 seconds jumping jacks, 20 seconds mountain climbers, and then we're going to go 20 seconds burpees, okay? It's just going to be one round only, so a quick minute round. Jumping jacks first 20 seconds. We're then going to take the top down. 20 seconds mountain climbers, and then we're going to come into 20 seconds burpees. Okay, we're going to get our minutes started in four, three, two, one, jumping jacks. Let's go. So, again, it's only going to be one minute. So, we're just trying to get as many reps as you can. Arms all the way up. 10 seconds up. Good. Get ready for your mountain climbers. In four, three, two, one, take it down. Let's go. Knees into your chest. Keep going. Good. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Straight to those burpees. Let's go. This is your warm up. This is your pulse raiser. Let's go. I want to see that chest come down. You've got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Grab a drink. And then we're going to get stuck in to the main workout. Who is there? Hi, Rebecca. Who is that? Christina on Facebook Live. First exercise in two weeks. Wish me luck. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay, bring your weights over. Okay, for the first set, you're not going to need no mats. Sit if your mats are in front of you. You can take your mats back, okay? You're not going to need your mats for the first set. Okay. Right, so we've got two exercises on our first set, okay? Each exercise, 50 seconds long. And then 10 seconds rest and recovery time in between. Okay, so again, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two exercises, four rounds. Okay, so grab your set of dumbbells. So again, if you haven't got any dumbbells, sorry, if you wasn't here at the start, I said a medium size to a heavy weight is completely fine. However, if you have a lighter pair as well, just leave that in front if you want it to drop down in size. Okay, so if you haven't got a set of dumbbells, or you've got a kettlebell, as my mum does here, I will also give you another option on what to do if you've got a set or if you've got a single. Likewise for the dumbbells. Okay, so exercise one, we've got RDL. So we've got deadlift, yeah? Remain deadlift. So what I want you to do, I'm gonna quickly demo from the side. Feet, shoulder width apart, yeah? Soft knees, I don't want the legs fully extended like so. Soft knees, yeah? So from here, what we should do is place your dumbbells in front of the legs, and you're just going to drop the body down like so, and then drive up. Okay, so again, slight bend in the knees, coming down, drive those weights forward, and then bring it back up. Now, the tempo that I like, I like to go at is three seconds down, and then one second up. Okay, so three, two, one, squeeze. Okay, three, two, one, squeeze. You can see my back's nice and straight. I don't arch, so just make sure you're not putting too much lower back pressure as you come up. So again, Drive down with your dumbbells, squeeze up, okay? Likewise, if you've only got one 
dumbbell, just hold the centre and repeat exactly the same thing. Yeah? Come down, squeeze up. Come do it from the side, come down, squeeze up. Okay? Likewise, again, if you've got a kettlebell, exactly the same thing. Hold on to the top handle, feet shoulder width apart, soft knees, drive those hips back, feel the stretch in your hamstrings, squeeze up. Okay, so again, exercise one is your RDLs. Okay? Exercise number two, we've got bent over rows. So, you're gonna take yourself down. Okay, again, into that remain bended position, to the side here. Bring those arms back like so, yeah? Now, when people do this, I see this a lot, yeah? Elbows going out to the side. We're not doing that, try and get those elbows going directly back. So you feel the stretch and the squeeze in your back, okay? Squeeze and down. Try not to rip out either. One, you're going to fatigue too quickly, and two, you're not working your muscles effectively. So please do take your time. Hold at the top for half a second, then down. Squeeze, one, two. Squeeze, one, two. Yeah? Okay, so, if you've only got one dumbbell or one kettlebell, you can opt for the single arm, yeah? Which is completely fine. So take one leg in front and one leg back, okay? And then you can just go for the single arm option where you just take it back. Yeah? Single arm. What I tend to do is I rest my front arm on my leg, like so, and then drive up. Yeah? So we are going to be doing four rounds, so if you are going to be doing single arm, you'll get a set each, okay? So you get two sets per arm, if that makes sense. Okay, so we are going to be doing RDLs, and then we've also got bent over rows. Again, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I think that's enough explaining. We can get struck straight in. Okay. Let's start with those RDLs. Grab your weights. In four, three, two, and one. Set one. Let's go. Squeeze. Yeah. Let's go. Three, two, one. Drive up. Remember, try and get that tempo. Three seconds down, one second up. Again, three seconds down, one second up. I want to see that squeeze at the top. Let's go, guys. Come on. Perfect. Keep it going. Good. Really drive down. Squeeze those glutes at the top. And drive. Good. Let's go. Push. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Push those hips back. Squeeze at the top. Good. We got 15 seconds. Come on. That's it. Good. Perfect. Down. Squeeze up. Three, two, one, and hold. Okay, so remember exercise number two is your bent over row, double, or you can up four to see the arm. In three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. So remember, you've got both arms together, so double, bent over row, or you can go for the single arm option. Remember, make sure your body is nice and low, soft knees, Remember, you're not taking your body up each time. Stay down nice and low, and then pull up. If you feel any pressure through your lower back, take yourself up, and then reset. Yeah, let's go. Remember, I want to see that squeeze. Up. Drive it up, guys. Good. Remember, elbows going directly back. Squeeze. Good. Lift it up. Push. Let's go. I want to see that squeeze at the top. Hold, good. 10 seconds. Let's go. Drive it up. All the way. Four, three, two, one, and hold. We are going back to those deadlifts. In five, four, three, two, one, round two. Let's go. Apologies, don't have a face button. I'm cutting my head up. That's it. Back to your deadlifts. Let's go. Remember, feet together. There we go. Down. Squeeze. Good. And squeeze. Remember, soft knees. Drive those hips back. Three seconds down. Squeeze up. Lift. Good. Remember, take your time. And again, if you feel any pressure from your lower back, just stop and reset. Yeah? Let's go. 
Push those hips back. Grab up. We got 15 seconds. Push. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Double bent over rows or single arm. If you're doing single arm, now it's the other side. Yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Drive it back. Push. Good. Again, if you feel any pressure through your lower back, pause. Yeah. So you can do one rep at a time and then stand up. Let's go. Take it up. Then you want to try and relax your shoulders, especially your traps, as much as possible. Don't do this. Yeah? Relax. Elbows back. Good. 20 seconds to go. Push. Lift it up. Good. Remember, you can reset if you feel that pressure. Lift it up. Last 10 seconds. Lift. Come on. Put it back. Five, four, three, two, one. One, okay. We're going back to those dead knees. Are we ready? Round three. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Drive down, squeeze up. Really push those hips back. Good. Let's go. That's it. Good. That's it. Drive down, squeeze. I want to see that glute squeeze at the top. Good. So in a way, you want to kind of over-exaggerate that movement. Squeeze. That's it. Good. But again, not too much hyperextension in that lower back. And push. Good. 20 seconds. Let's go. Three seconds down. One second up. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Ten seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay. We got those rows. Okay, get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one. We got those rows. Let's go. Drive it back. Let's go. Push. That's it. Let's go, guys. Elbows back. Relax those shoulders. Try not to get the traps involved too much. Remember, we don't want to keep moving up and down like a seesaw. Stay down nice and low. Drive up. Drive up, yeah? Remember, reset if you feel that pressure throughout the lower back. Let's go. Keep it going. Let's go, guys. 15 seconds. Woo. Good. Three, two, one. Take it up. Final set. Round four. In five, four, three, two, and one. Back to those deadlifts. Let's go. Good. Squeeze. When you do your RDLs, try not to keep your head up like this. Yeah? Don't put too much pressure on your neck. Relax. Put it down. The whole time. Keep the pressure off your back. Sorry, off your neck. Let's go. Three seconds down, one second up. Good. Let's go. Down. Drive up. Good. Remember, take rest in between if you do feel that stretch and that strain in your lower back. Last 15 to go. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Last set of those bent over rows. Again, if you've done single arm, change arms. In four, three, two, one. Are we ready? Let's go. Drive it up. Let's go. Squeeze. Good. Put it back. That's it, good. And let's go. Soft knees. Good, keep going. Keep going, guys, good. Let's keep working. Bring those weights up. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. 20 seconds. Remember, 
Reset if you feel it in the lower back, like myself. I just reset and then go straight back in. Last 10 seconds. Good. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Ooh. Take a rest. Grab a drink. Ooh. Okay. You're going to lead your, your mat back on the next set. So on this next round, we're going to go bicep curls. And we're also going to include the core. So we're going to have some weighted sit-ups, okay? I'm going to give a slightly more advanced option as well for those who want to kind of take that step forward, okay? So, we've got bicep curls, yeah? I like to have my palms facing away from me, okay? Weights in front, curl it up, straight back down, yeah? As you can see, curl up and down. Three seconds up, two seconds down. One, two, three, one, two, three. In fact, we're going to go three seconds up, three seconds down. One, two, three, one, two, three. Option one, both together. Option two, sorry, putting that one. Static hold on one arm and then bicep curl on the other side. Yeah? So if you are going to be doing this option for the more advanced option, we are going to again be doing four rounds. So each side you will get two sets. If you have got a kettlebell and you haven't got um, dumbbells, okay, just hold on to the outside of your kettlebell, keep the elbows nice and close to the body and curl it in, like so. Yeah? Just try not to knock yourself out with the kettlebell. Okay, exercise number two, grab your weight. Okay, so it could be a dumbbell, it could be a kettlebell, it's completely up to you. We're going to be doing weighted sit-ups. So for example, if I demo with one of my dumbbells, okay, keep the weight nice and close to your chest, come down, drive up, come down, drive up, yeah? Option number two, you can go into jack knives, so take the weight behind, lift up, like so, yeah? That is your alternative, so weighted sit-ups or weighted jack knives, again for the first exercise, double kettlebell, sorry, double bicep curl or one static hold into a single arm curl, it's up to you. Again, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna go in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go guys, back into your curls. Step one, let's go. Good, curl it in. Now remember, if you are going for option number two, take one arm up and curl it in. Yeah? Three seconds up, three seconds down. Good. Let's go. Keep going. Good. Keep that dumbbell there if you can. Perfect. Let's go. Keep going. Good. We got 20 seconds. 
Curl it up and down. Remember, it's not this motion. The whole body should be swinging. If you're swinging, maybe your weight might be too heavy. Maybe drop it down. Good. Keep breathing, guys. Good. 20 seconds. Curl it in. Keep that hold. Good. Five. Four, three, two, one, good. Weights come down. Set number two. Weighted sit ups or weighted jack knives in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Keep going. Good. Lift up. That's the one.
doing option number two, that is heavy arms back prior to when you drop the arms down, okay? We don't want no one to knock themselves in the face. I know hence the name Skull Crusher, but we don't need to actually make that a thing, yeah? Okay, so exercise number two, straight leg, arms up, reach up, yeah? Like so. Okay, so for this one, we're going for a five minute emo, yeah? So, we're gonna be going for, no sorry, six minute emo, okay? So we're gonna be going every minute on the minute. So, first exercise is your tricep extensions or your skull crushes, one minute, moving straight into your straight leg, crunches with your weight, okay? Nothing is without a weight, everything is with your weight. Okay, so three rounds, back to back, we ready to go? Yes we are, perfect. Get yourself sit up, set up, sorry. Okay, so again, all you need is a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or a plate for this one, up to you how heavy. Okay, we're gonna go in four. In fact, let me set my timer so everyone goes at the same time. Four, three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna take you back into a skull crusher. It's up to you if you wanna stay seated up. Good, try and do the tempo three seconds down, one second up. So one, two, three, drive up. That's it. So you're just bending from the elbow, so the whole arm doesn't move back. So think of it from the elbow up, that's the point, that's bending, yeah? Three, two, one, drive up. Good. Let's go. We're now halfway, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, drive. Good. Let's go, keep going. Three, two, one, drive. Remember, you can go heavy out if you want to. Right, last 15 seconds, come on. Take it back, drive up. Let's go. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, remember exercise number two. Both legs up straight, reach up with your plate. Let's go, we'll do this one sideways on. Then one can see me. And reach up. Good. Let's go. Reach up. Good. Reach up, guys, with that plate. Keep going.
exercise in one if you like, okay? So, we've got a pull movement, which is gonna be two bent over rows, okay? So I'll demo with my dumbbells. Now the only difference is, when I come down into my burpee position, I'm not actually gonna do it on my dumbbells, only because my ones aren't as stable. So if you haven't got the dumbbells that don't screw on, you can place your hands on the top like so. But because mine are a little bit unstable, I'm just gonna put my hands onto the mat. I'll demo what I mean once I go on. Okay, so again, we're gonna be doing three in one. Okay, so exercise one, or part of that. The first part, two rows, yeah? Drop your waist down, take yourself down, plank position, yeah? We're then gonna go into, from here, four plank jacks. Then back up, grab your weights. One, two, plank position. Who maybe haven't got a lot of equipment 
or still do require some equipment, please do check out our Outrivals page and you can also pre-order some equipment if you do wish to have some at home and some more equipment for the class. So again, please do check out the page for that and pre-order now and have a great day guys. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good day guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. See you later guys.